A towering figure in the news and media landscape for three decades, now out of a job. Jeff Zucker announcing his resignation from CNN, where he's been president since 2013. In a memo to CNN staff Wednesday, Zucker cited a failure to disclose a consensual relationship with my closest colleague as the reason for his departure. That colleague, CNN's chief marketing officer, Allison Gullist, saying in a statement of her own that she plans to stay with the network. The surprising exit catching his own colleagues off guard and some questioning the move. This is an incredible loss. These are two consenting adults who are both executives. <laughs> that, that they can't have a private relationship um, feels wrong. Before CNN, the pair starting their careers and climbing the ladder at NBC. Zucker as executive producer of the Today Show and president and CEO of NBC Universal. At the head when NBC hired Donald Trump as the host of The Apprentice. The relationship later souring as the former president's dealings with the press and CNN turned contentious. Golis was an executive in the NBC communications department. She also briefly worked for former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's office in 2012, but jumped to CNN shortly after Zucker took the reins. Zucker says their romantic relationship came to light as part of an independent investigation into Chris Cuomo, the recently ousted CNN primetime host. In the early days of the pandemic, Chris Cuomo famously had his brother on a number of Cuomo on Cuomo segments. Washington Post media critic and columnist Eric Wemple cited several sources saying Golist and Zucker were instrumental in securing the interviews, adding that a CNN spokesperson said that executives pressing public officials for interviews is standard practice. Zucker fired Cuomo after he admitted to helping advise his older brother on sexual harassment allegations that forced him to resign from the governor's office. Governor Cuomo has denied those allegations and no charges have been filed. According to the New York Times, Chris Cuomo is now in a legal battle with CNN over his firing, including the network's refusal to pay severance or the remainder of his multi-million dollar contract. Cuomo was fired in December and he is not going out quietly. Zucker's departure comes as CNN is gearing up to launch a streaming network and its parent company is about to partake in one of the nation's largest media mergers. For now, CNN will be run by three interim co-heads pulled from within. And I should note separately, NBC News did contact Chris Cuomo, who had no comment on Zucker's resignation. Craig. Emily E.K. to force this morning. Emily, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.